Hello everyone, this is Darwell20 and welcome to episode 98, ooh, we're getting close to 100, of Darwell20's Enigmatic into Expert Mode series. Uh, today, I want to check out doing this crafting core thing with some of the crafting recipes that we're going to need to know how to have. So I made a bunch of pedestals, 15 to be exact. Holy cow, that's a lot of pedestals. Um, we're going to want filters and at this point i feel like it's about time that we just teach you how to make a filter how's that sound does that sound cool because i feel like we should just do that basic item filters uh advanced item filters oh really is that what you're made of okay cool today we learned uh limited item filter sure do you know how to make comparators nope I just want you to know how to make the filters. Is that such a bad deal? Uh, and we also should probably get Kraken on uh, that other thing that we want to make. So basically my plan is I want to check out Crafting Cores replacing this setup, right? Um, and then I'll also want to probably increase the speed and production of a few other things. So environmental tech, courtesy of last episode. Wow, we have a lot of ionite crystal. Holy cow, that's a lot. All right, I think we're good. <laughs> I think we're good on ionite crystals, buddies. Um, so you come with me, you come with me. You come here. All right. Cool. To home we go. All right, so in total, right, if we're gonna upgrade this dude, uh, we need iridium neutron reflectors, which needs thick neutron reflectors, which needs neutron reflectors, which needs a whole bunch of stuff that we don't know how to make, right? Um, so let's get the crafting steps in place. And I'm gonna teach you with or dictionary substitutions enabled, right? So you may or may not know iridium reinforced plates, but you're gonna learn them, right? Uh, you may or may not know dense copper plates, but you're going to learn them, right? Um, so let's put you on this mode. Okay. Um, and I should probably, are you the guy who has denses? Is it you who has denses? Yeah, you're the dense guy. Cool. Right. So that's iridium neutrons, right? So then let's also take care of this back in crafting mode. So that shouldn't be a problem. And that shouldn't be a problem. Assuming you know how to make the pulverized coals and everything, right? So I'm guessing the point here was is that we're gated behind neutronium or iridium, I guess. Iridium plates, yeah. I guess we're gated behind iridium, so that's cool. So can I make two of you? So you're missing coal? Are we low on coal? I mean, I guess that kind of makes sense. Yeah, look how many blocks of coal coke we have. All right, that's funny. That is funny to me. Um, what if I... Enrichment chamber gets me two. That's that's a piddly amount. Three from a pulverizer. Just looking for, you know, a little bit of luck. But probably not. Uh, you with me, sir. We'll just do what we've been doing, which is vein mining mountains at a time. Cool. So can I have two of you now? Two, please. Looks like I can. Sweet. All right. So knowing that, right, then we're also... So, like, let's get this guy upgraded first, right? So you're going to go in. I just want to make sure that everything's behaving itself and doing what it's supposed to be doing. But you have a lot of copper plates, don't you, to make. I should really move that copper plate. The plate recipe. I really should. Nice. Cool, right? Loving it. Stored crafting, so you're doing a bunch of these, but that's nice, right? Like, look how fast that is. A bunch at a time. Can't go wrong. All right, so everybody else is cooking, 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 cooking. So we already have one of them, so that's nice. So that means our auto craft worked, 
right? Let's turn off our dictionary substitutions again because I, I like to leave that off. Don't ask me why. I, it's, it's the way I am, all right? It's the way I am. Uh, so we need 16 modifiers, right? So right now we've got 12. Uh, let's get, you know... Yeah, let's get one more accuracy and three more speed. See, I knew I knew I would regret getting rid of the the mob thing, the mob turner offer thingy. Right? I knew that was gonna happen. It would be it would be a nuisance to me at some point. But whatever. Uh, so that's the sixteen of those, right? Uh, Seventy two structure frames. Right, so we've got 56 tier fours, so we need 72 tier fives. So lots of crafting is gonna go into that. Not a huge deal though, right? Um, and then finally, uh, 36 structure panels and six cores. So 36 structure panels, we've got more than enough. And six cores, so we're gonna need another core. Um, and what lens do we want from environmental tech? So I'm thinking what we might want is Atheum to get started, right? And that'll be a black laser lens, which gets me what from a void mortar? So it gets me more coal and more black quartz. Ah, I don't know. Maybe I just want to clear on this one, right? Because I don't know that we need a lot of Atheum, at least at first. I mean, we'll need one or two for the Anglocyte, but I don't know that we need a lot. So I think what I'm going to do is make a clear. And that'll just be like, get me all the things, right? Not focused on any one. I think that's probably a good idea, right? So everybody's cooking down here, right? Everybody's doing their thing. We can probably just uh, speed up redstone processing a little bit. Do, 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 do. How great is that? How great is that? Loving it. I love I love the full on automation that we have going on here right now. Um, that's what this that's what's fun about Minecraft for me. When I can sit down and be like, I need this thing that has a hundred crafting steps, and click a button, and all the things that I've built over the last ninety eight episodes kick into life to just give it to me, right? That's pure automation, and that is cool. I mean, I just I dig it. What can I say? That's what that's what I geek out about. I think it's pretty nifty, right? Everything's wrapping up now. All the things are completing. Prismarine shards are crafting. Theoretically. You doing your job over here, buddy? Where's that thing? All of a sudden something's not behaving either. Something that's probably worked plenty of times. I just want to see what might have gone funny over here. I can't think of anything that really would have gone funny. That might have happened. You know how we can solve that? Conduit facade should solve that problem. Yeah, I bet that's your issue. Probably the first time I requested so many. All right, that should fix your issue. See, little little minor tweaks might need to be made, and that's it. So there's your 72 of those. Does that mean we're good? I think so. It's everything we needed, right? Um, environmental tech, I think it's still that laser dude. Yeah, I might have to figure out like how to keep mobs from spawning, but also let those wither skeletons spawn, because that's going to annoy me that I can have mobs around my base now. So let's see if this guy will kick on for me, huh? How much RF tech is this going to use? I don't know, but I'm really interested in finding out. 
Hey, there we go. 923,000. So we are right around a million RF a tick. Right around. Oh, that is serious business. But look how many resources we're getting. <gasps> oh my goodness, that's a lot of resources. Oh, you need a redstone signal. You need an on-off switch. Like nobody's business. Um, between episodes, I didn't do a whole lot. Um, you know, a few little minor things here and there. Pre-crafted the pedestals for us. Made an octodic capacitor for the... Uh, uh, for the thing, uh, flux point. I don't know what you're from. Oh, I remember what you're from. Uh, clear laser lens. Yeah, I need to put the clear laser lens on there because I think it wound up using the blue one, which is going to be ionite on us. Yeah, I want I want clear on this guy now. Cool. And in theory, a redstone signal should shut you down. Nice. So I guess the main question is, do I have any athium? We have enough. We have enough Atheum to do the wireless thing, right? So I'm going to leave you on for a bit, because right now, even though we're using close to a million RF a tick, we're still producing more than that, right? I claimed this area, right? <laughs> Why was there a dude in here? I didn't even... <laughs> that would have been bad. <laughs> that could have been bad. Um, but yeah, we're, 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 we're definitely using a little less than we're producing, right? Like, we're producing 1.6 million and we're outputting around 1.2. So we're still a net gain on power. And like a million RF a tick is a lot, but I mean, we're okay for now, for now. Also, nether stars, we're totally good on. I ran I ran the nether star spawner quite a few times. Uh, so we have a good number of those, right? Uh, so let's play with this thing now, right? I think that's our next step. Cause I think we should be getting really close to being able to make what I need to make, right? So you're gonna actually chill here, but um, you guys don't actually need power, uh, the pedestals. I don't believe they do at least. But what I wanna check, and in theory this should be correct, right? But I also need filters, like 11 of them. And I'm gonna need, I'm pretty sure they don't need power, those things. And you need that. And, and, and I want this to get as much power as it can, right? So what I'm gonna do is just make you a flux point without a limit, right? And I can't put it underground because I need item conduits into there, right? And this thing has a filter on him, right? So we might need to have more filters pretty soon, but I'm pretty sure the way these work is that they don't need power, the pedestals at least. And if I'm right, we should be able to just replace all the recipes you so all the recipes should work see they're not even connecting so that means that's right so if i want a hardened cell frame remember how long these took to craft right and the hard part was the actual crafting in this part but this should just immediately work right in theory This is kind of my test. Machine frame stored, hardened cell frame. Hmm. That should have put an energy cell frame in the center there. Where, pray tell, did you go, Mr. Energy Cell Frame? Oh, wait. Oh, I bet I know what happened. Aha! You're gonna need a filter. And you're gonna need a filter that's gonna match the input as an output blacklist because you're allowed to pull out before, got it. So blacklist, energy cell frames, and then you're also gonna to wanna to blacklist that, lapis blocks and coal blocks. All right, so that would be actually additions. So 
the palest block and the void crystal block need to be blacklisted right and what else was it uh, it was that thing from mechanism the elite control circuit So we're gonna add you to the blacklist of this guy. Cool, so now when I put you in here, which I suspect I'm supposed to be able to do. Yes, oh wait, maybe you have to, there you go. Wow, that was quick. That was fast. Remember how long that took before? That was fast. Remember how long these took to craft? These took a long time to craft. Let's see how cooked that is. I think it should be coming in a second here. There they are. Wow. I like that. That is super quick. That is super, super quick. Um, Now here's a thing that we're gonna wanna do. I also want you to be on round robin enabled mode. Cause we wanna test charged draconium because that's another thing that we're going to need to make in this thing, right? Um, and this is a lot of RF remember, right? Like charged draconium is like two billion forge energy at 10 million RF a tick. Ah, uh, yeah, it should be fun. Uh, so what I want to do is basically add you to the whitelist. And I'm hoping you can't have two at a time. Can you have two at a time? You cannot. And can you have two at a time? You cannot. So that's cool. So the round robin technically shouldn't matter. Because I'm going to add you to the whitelist. I'm going to add you to the blacklist. Okay. And then we're going to add you to the whitelist. Or the blacklist. No, 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 you don't get added to that blacklist. Okay, so that should be cool. So if I requested charged draconium, and what I'm gonna say, and I already have one charged draconium in my system, because remember I said earlier uh, that, I, that I put a top tier capacitor in that other thing? So if I put you guys in here, check this out. Ta-da! What I should do is blacklist the draconium on the other three. Nice. Yeah, the other three should get blacklisted draconium so that it doesn't put them in there, right? So blacklist, blacklist. I like these pedestals quite a lot. They are way faster. I mean, if you want to win Dyer's Heart, just make something really, really fast that used to be slow. And, uh, yeah, I'm pretty much happy. As happy as I can be. Remember how slow that was with the actual Editions one? Do you see how fast it is? I like it. Um, so we add this recipe here. So now we know how to make Charged Draconium on demand. That's cool. That's cool. I believe it's a crate that it goes into, isn't it? Yeah, that would be you, buddy. Nice. Cool. Uh, hey, who wants to go check on our mob spawner real quick? I do, direwolf. How's this whole thing that we set up last episode? Doing pretty good, doing pretty good. So it's at 123,000, which means this turned off. But once it gets to, like I said, 50%, right, it should do the thing, right? So like, what if I made you Pretty darn close to 25, isn't it? So what if we made you 25%? 5, 12, that would be 128, right? So once we hit 128,000 essence, this will test what we did last episode. I like that plan. I like that plan. Right? I'm going to bump it back up, but I want to get it. I want to see it work. And we're like right near the 128 number. So as soon as this bad boy hits 128, we should see the redstone signal on the left turn off. The lights turn on. 
or stop auto killing things. We're only killing them with the yeah, sword. We're using up all the mob essence, and then when it drops below 10%, which is going to be 51, 200, it should turn the lights back off and turn on the killer again. That's working. That's working exactly like I wanted it to, guys. That is great, actually. I like that. Killing, killing dudes pretty good. How are you doing holding up? You're, you're doing good heroic level up there still, Cooper dude. At some point I'll think about putting uh, Unbreaking on him. So you're at 51-200? Hey, there we go. Boom. Lights off. You see that? Right there. We just happened to just barely hit it. And we saw the that, that thing flicker. Turn the lights back on. Perfect. Perfect. I'm very pleased at how that worked out the first time. Very pleased. All right. Now what we need to do is prepare for what's going to be the auto crafting over here. So we've got... We've definitely got some crafting to do. And I want to try and make this look cool. I almost want one more of these. But hopefully they work. Because this is what we're going to need to do for all the things that we got going on in the future here. And you might eventually be one of those, but for now you're cool. All right. So let's get item conduits ready to roll. We're going to need more of you. Quickly, please. I've got crafting to do. Because I think we're super close. Super close. Like, clearly, uh, we need a few things, right? But we are super close to, to getting what we need to get. So let's get our conduit probe. Well, you know what? I just have to do that, right? And then we're good. Because it's inserting on green is what we're doing. Uh, we just need blacklists that match the other blacklists. So that's going to be like the real hassle. Right? Um, so that should be cool. So I might want to switch these to like a whitelisting kind of thing, where we whitelist what's allowed to go into them. Um, but I don't know, we'll figure it out. The other thing we have to figure out what'll happen is if we try to, you know, craft too many things at once. Hopefully it's kind of smart. It might not be smart, but we'll see. Whoops. That's what you get for keeping that on your hotbar, Darwolf. All right, so we're getting you guys ready to roll. So inserting, inserting, inserting. That's all good. For any auto crafts that we're gonna need. Now, I don't know how many of these we're actually going to need to do. So what I might do for now, with this many that is, right? Is let's just like be ready for you. I think that's a good idea. So we've got everything ready but I think I'm gonna just to prevent any breaking of existing auto crafting because I don't feel like messing with filters just yet so like we're ready to do this but for now anything we're gonna do is gonna be manual because it's the main thing I want to make right now is the wireless doohickey right the wireless infinity booster card and once that's made we're gonna see what other things we need to auto craft with such a large number of pedestals um, and if it's if it's a lot Cool, then we'll do it. If it's not, then whatever. All right. So, uh, wireless 
dudes, right? So to make this, we need the four quantum link chambers. So we should have the 1024 and the singularities, right? We need the four quantum link chambers. But we also need two anglocyte, which is going to need um, class rates. So we've got an energized. We've got two of you and we got two of you. Where do you come from? Lock drops, energized netherrack drops it. Uh, we can we can pulverize some of this stuff. What else can I do with you? Just out of curiosity, tectonic, magma crucible, sag mill. Get me a couple of them, but I think pulverizer is probably your best bet. Okay, so those are those guys, right? Um, so we're gonna need two rich slag, two of each of the environmental tech dudes. Right, so two, 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 all right? So that's that, cool. Um, and it was rich slag, right? Uh, so that's all those guys. And we need um, an octodic capacitor or two which we should be able to make now because we already have those two things. So that's good. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Um, so we need sentient ender. So it's a soul vial of a witch and an ender resonator. So we're going to need an enderman head. Do we have any of those in here? Nope. Well, we have some back of the thing. Cool. Uh, and, and do I need other Enderman things? Enticing crystals, no, no, and no, we should be cool. All right, so let's go back. I just want to prepare all the things that we're going to need for this. So slice and splice, you're up, buddy. Um, it's this one. So two vibrance, four soul, four silicon. Four soul, four silicon, right? Yes, yes, yes. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so put that on here. So there's one. What are those things called again? Ender Resonator. And we have to combine them with a soul vial of a witch. So where am I gonna find a witch? Where's a reliable way to get witches to spawn? I mean, I know they just kind of spawn randomly at night, um, but I'm wondering if I'll see them like more likely in another biome. Like, I mean, magical biomes seem like a nice place for witches to hang out, right? Let me find a witch, uh, and we'll be right back once I find them. Hey, neat, World Gen Compact Machines. That's kind of cool. You know, like, don't mind if I do. Okay, back to looking for witches. I'll tell you what I did find is villagers. I'll take that, because don't I need those for something that I'm about to make? Yeah, I need the enticing crystals, right? So let's poof back home and drop those off and get two more soul vials and go back to looking for witches. Oh, and just for the record, I do know they spawn in swamp biomes, right? Like, I know that's a thing, but I don't think I've found any swamp biomes, to be fair. Uh, I'm not seeing anything that looks swampish. That might be one at the northeast of me, but nowhere else does it look like I've found a swamp looking biome. Maybe that up there, but I don't think so. Hey, there's one. Got him. Nice. Soul Vial of a Witch. One more to get. Yeah, my understanding of witch spawn rules is they can spawn anywhere now. They're more likely in a swamp biome, but they can be anywhere. 
Isn't that accurate? But they're like really rare anywhere else. I mean, if I was going like for broke, what I would do is just like dupe that one. But I mean, hey, there's one. Nice. I'll take it. All right. So now to you. Cool. So that is two sentient enders. That's what we need for that one. We've got our two octodicks, right? Nice. Okay. So now we just need these last three. Prescient. And it needs to be a quantum entangled singularity, by the way. But that's not a problem. We can get two of those pretty easily. So prescient, prescient, prescient crystals are two vibrants with two shulkers. All right. So those soul vials shouldn't be too bad to get. Right. Uh, we just need to find shulkers. Now, what did we get by way of shulker? Didn't we get something? Actually, we have two vials of shulkers, so why don't we just use them? Because remember, we found them when we went looking and found the elytra. And if I ever need more, I can just go get them. So I'll take that, right? Um, so you're used for what again? Uh, with two vibrants. So I taught you vibrant crystals, so that's cool. So these should be the prescient crystal things. Prescient crystal? I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, weather crystals. Uh, that would be an ender. Two pulsing and two vibrant crystals. Right? So two pulsing. Ultimately, I need four pulsing, right? Um, and four vibrant. And the ender crystal is two vibrant and two soul vials of enderman, which I just got, right? Uh... No, 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 no. I didn't get two soul vials of Enderman. I got two soul vials of Villager. That's right. They were for something else, I think. Um, so we need Enderman. So two more of these, please. While I go outside for Enderman souls real quick. Make it night again. Enderman should be far less tricky. Now, if I wanted to, I could travel to the end. But my expectation is that... I will find Enderman faster flying around. See, like, there's already one right here. And uh, then I would, if I traveled to the end, teleported to a dimension, like all the loading screens and everything, right? Like, finding an Enderman should be faster this route than any other. See, there's one. And there's my two vibrant crystals. Okay. Right, so you, so we need two of these weather crystals, right? Booyah, nice. All right, and then the last thing is enticing, which is two emeralds and two soul vials of villagers. So there's your villager soul vials, and there's your emeralds. Boop, boop, go, boop, boop, go. And that should be all the things, right? Right? So what I'm going to do is just down the line all these things. And if I'm right about this, we should be wrapping up this episode having crafted the thing that we've been working towards the last few episodes. And being really close to having the final result. Right? And you. I knew it was 15. I counted out how many items there were in the recipe, right? So now, right, all we need in the center here, and by the way, this is 100 million forge energy. Not too bad, though. Not too bad. At 1 million RF a tick? Not bad at all. Quantum entangled singularities, right? 
uh, which are uh, one singularity and one ender dust and cause an explosion, right? And TNT. Does that seem fair? I mean, it super doesn't matter. I know. All right, it kind of matters. <laughs> it kind of matters a little bit. Oh, goodness, that was funny. Uh, it's like, it doesn't matter where I go do this at, right? I mean, a little bit it does. Can we do this somewhere that's not going to have a creeper exploding on me? That would be super great, and I would appreciate it a lot. Um, and we could use the tiny TNT. Isn't that a thing? Yeah, it's kind of a thing. All right, guys, I know, I know. We're all very excited that we can spawn again because I will had to turn off the thing. We're all super thrilled that you're allowed to spawn again. Trust me, I get it. Okay, let's calm down with the spawning right next to me thing. Can we please? Please? I'd appreciate it, like, a lot. Okay, uh, so you're here. You guys are gonna go here. Let's take off our magnet just to make sure that we don't cause any derpage, right? And this should be you and you, and go. Huzzah, works for me. Teleporting. Okay, you go away, the ring can go back on. And we get two of those, remember. Boom, that was, uh... oh, right, yeah, no. So what I'm gonna do is have a lever here and say active without signal, okay? So that when I give you a redstone signal, you're not gonna pull out of that thing, right? And that's a million RF a tick, total of 100 million, so 100 ticks, and we get that bad boy. Nice. Guys, we are one step closer to have an infinite range across dimensions, I might add. You knew that, right? You knew this worked across dimensions, right? We are one step closer to infinite range cross-dimensional wireless transceiver. Booyah. That's what's up. All right. So just to confirm, now all we need is four dragon hearts, and we should be good. That'll be next episode. For now, that'll 20 signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time. We'll do more things. And for now, take it easy.